So you just got yourself a brand new resin 3D printer, and you want to make stuff. Well, you can't just print the stuff you want and call it good. You gotta cure the stuff you print. So let me show you what that is and how to do all your post-processing for resin 3D prints, and we'll even try water curing in this video. I'm gonna be doing some more 3D printing videos on this channel, and so I wanted to have this guide to refer back to so I don't have to show you this process over and over in each video, and we can just move on with some new things. So we printed our very first set of minis, but now they're stuck to the build plate and they're covered and uncured resin. So what do we do? Most 3D printers come with a spatula or scraper to get your prints off of the build plate, or you can buy a more sturdy one at Home Depot or any sort of craft store like that, and you slide it right under your prints until they pop right off of the build plate. It may take some force, but then your prints are ready to go for the next stage. The printers usually always come with these hobby clippers and a brush, but I like to use a really soft bristled toothbrush for my cleaning purposes, and I'm going to cut one of these off from the rest of the print bed so that we can see things a little bit more clearly because now we need to clean that uncured resin off and we need to use some isopropyl or 99.9% .9 alcohol. I keep a Tupperware container with a plastic lid that I pour my alcohol into and I can reuse it over and over, but once it gets a little too cloudy, you do want to change it out for some fresh alcohol. We're just going to take our print and shake it and swirl it around inside the alcohol to remove any of the excess uncured resin. There are machines that do this for you, but if you don't want to spend any money, just do it by hand like I do. Just make sure you're wearing gloves during the entire portion of the process that you are touching all of this uncured resin. If there's pieces that still have some uncured resin on there that just don't go away whenever you're trying to swirl it around, you can take your soft bristled toothbrush or whatever brush comes with your 3D printer, dip it in the alcohol, and scrape away any of that excess resin. I showed you the process on one individual print, but you don't actually need to be that time consuming. I usually take the whole print bed, dunk it under alcohol, and swirl it around. As long as your prints aren't too delicate to where if they hit liquid too hard they would break, you should have no problem problems here. And now you can see we finished in a fraction of the time and we can move on to removing the supports on our prints. It's generally a good idea to do this before curing your minis because after you cure it all of these supports are going to be very hard and a part of the mini and you'll get a lot of scarring that you wouldn't otherwise get. Depending on the print you may have some very difficult to remove supports or some very easy to remove supports. If you want to learn how to make your own I just made a video on that last week and I'll put that up in the top right right now. And you can get some minis that come away very clean with almost no cleanup done to them whatsoever. This mini is just removing supports with doing nothing else to it. But say you do mess up and accidentally break off a piece of your mini. It is not the end of the world and you might not have to reprint things. Using super glue and accelerator you can often put your pieces back on together and they cure with just a few seconds of touching each other. Putting accelerator on one piece and super glue on the other you might not even notice that you ever broke it, especially if you're going to prime the prints and paint them. Now that we have our prints we want to finish and cure them. To do this I'll show you three different methods all involving UV light in some way. The first method is by shining UV LEDs directly on them, which you can DIY, or you can buy one of these nail lamps that people use to cure the UV resin on their nails. These are pretty cheap overall and do a fantastic job of post-curing your prints. So all you have to do is set them in there. It usually takes about four or five minutes of post-cure direct UV light on your prints to cure them. I just set it for 99 seconds four times. I flip them over halfway through, so with two cycles remaining just to make sure I get UV on every single part of the prints and now they are completely cured. Because they are completely cured you can handle them with your hands and they are no different than any other piece of hard plastic or hard resin. They're safe. I wouldn't eat them, but they are safe to touch with your bare skin just like any other plastics. A free method of getting UV is to just set your minis outside for a while, probably about three or four hours in direct sunlight, and that's just as good as using UV lamps. And the final of the three curing methods is water curing. Now that's just putting your mini inside water while you do the same things that we mentioned previously. There's some awesome science behind it that involves reduced oxygen at the surface level. I'm not going to explain it here, but Make 3D TV did an awesome YouTube video on it, and you should go check it out. Water curing is kind of the new hotness because you can do it in half the time of regular curing and it gets every little nook and cranny of your prints cured. So you just set them in water in something clear like a glass container or this plastic. This one I only had to leave in there for two minutes and it is completely cured. Once it dries you actually have a print that is more cured than the other two methods because light refracts from the water into every nook and cranny. So we have three different versions, our regular LED UV cured, our water cured prints, 
and our sunlight or naturally cured prints. Each of the different ways of curing have their own advantages and disadvantages. Some of them are faster, but some of them require more prep time. Some of them even require a little bit more money than the others, but doing things like the direct sunlight curing does have a chance of getting debris like dust or dirt on them as the outside has a lot of those things. If wind blows on it and it sticks to the print, it's really hard to remove those things after they cure. After they are done curing, there's a few extra things you can do to make them look even better. I have an extra toothbrush and clippers that I never touch with uncured resin, and I can also sand some of these surfaces down if there's any marks from the supports that I don't really care to see anymore. Like the underside of this gun, I use some micro mesh sanding, or you could just use some really high grit sandpaper. Anything too low a grit will just take off a ton of resin. This stuff's pretty soft. But if you really want to get professional with it, you can also get some precision needle files. These can get right into all of the teeny places of your minis that you otherwise couldn't reach, like that little nub underneath its arm. I don't want that there, so I'm going to file it away, take my toothbrush, and get the excess resin off of it, and bada bing, bada boom, we've got some good looking prints. Really though, an extra set of clippers and toothbrush are all you really need for post-processing. The files or sanding is just extra. And if you like the minis that we've been using in this video, you can get them for free. Thank Thanks to print minis. I'll put a link in the description down below to go download them on their My Mini Factory website, but they sponsored this video by giving away free minis for this and learning how to support your own minis, so they're really awesome. Check them out and check out their Patreon. They have a ton of really cool sci-fi minis that come out every single month. Or again, just check them out on the My Mini Factory website, which is the other sponsor of this video. There's a bajillion different minis, and now that you know how to cure and post-process them, you can do whatever you want and print a million different things. Huge thanks Thank you to both of our sponsors for allowing you all to have free stuff to follow along with these tutorials in case you want to try this stuff out at home on your own. Hopefully you found this quick little video helpful and informative. If you did, maybe consider giving the video a like and subscribing. We've got other videos like this on the channel, or if you absolutely hated this video, go ahead and dislike it. I'm okay with seeing that too. I couldn't get this mini to stand up on his own on my little rotation table, so just ignore my fingers and pretend he's standing up on his own. Wow, Ruminator, how'd you do that? How he's standing up on his own? You're so talented. That's great. Crazy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned something and I really hope that you have a fantastic day.